everybody and welcome back to another ASMR episode with Sporting United. This is episode 9 now, I think. And first of all, I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry that there's been no uploads for like a week. Um, I have been busy doing real life stuff. I say this, this is like an excuse I put out on every single channel, but I've been busy sorting life stuff out. And as a result, I've sort of put this on the back burner for a bit. So I'm really sorry, it's been like a whole week since I last uploaded, I was planning to get five videos a week out on this channel and it just hasn't worked out like that, so I'm really, really sorry. Um, but today, we've got Brighton and uh, we've got big news because I was kind of hoping to get it exactly on the match where we could get relegated and unfortunately, um, I couldn't do that. So, um, we have officially been relegated from the Premier League now, 30 defeats from 30 games. Uh, we're now 33 points behind with, is it 24 points left on the table? So I couldn't quite get it, I was hoping to get it right on the day where we could have been promoted. But I've made a mess up because I was supposed to play the Leicester game. It was originally due on the Saturday. And because I'm a complete idiot, it got moved to the Friday and I just sort of accidentally played it because I just, I don't know, there's something about the Friday instead of the Saturday just completely threw me off and I played it instead. So the last game we had was the 6-0 defeat to Tottenham. Um, it hasn't got any better since. Uh, we lost 5-0 to Swansea. Jordan Ayew scoring a hat-trick. Mike van der Horn and Tammy Abraham with a penalty. And um, we were only 2-0 down until the 82nd minute. And then Swansea piled late pressure on to make it 5-0. We then lost 6-0 to Manchester United. Marcus Rashford, Jesse Lingard with a hat-trick. Paul Pogba with two. Um, we did only lose 1-0 to Stoke, though. Jordan Shakiri in the 14th minute. So we were in the game on that one. We then lost 4-0 to Huddersfield. Steve Mounier with a hat-trick and an own goal from Lewis Hawkins. And then, like we say, we lost to Leicester. 4-0 George Thomas with a hat-trick. I don't even know who he is. George Thomas... George Thomas is a striker in Leicester's under-23s, I'm assuming, well he's played two games this season, he scored three goals, a hat-trick against us, um, to make sure we had 30 points out of 30 defeats from 30 games, is what I'm trying to say, and um, we actually got relegated, I think it was the Huddersfield game, it's been so long now, I don't even know, I think it was the Huddersfield game after that we got relegated, so we are officially going to be a championship team next season, it was always going to be the case anyway, um, but today... We have got, are we a home to Brighton? We've got a home, no, we're away to Brighton, learn to read. So, um, I have no idea what we've got in store for today, but um, it should be a fairly interesting matchup, even if we do get smashed. Okay, so this is the team that we're going to use to play Brighton. We're going for less instructions today. I don't want to overcomplicate the players. We've got O'Hara in goal, got about a fourth of Tandy, Pask, John, and Kelly. Butcher as the ball winning midfielder with King, Hawkins, Hartigan and Ami Obi. I'm in the midfield. Stefan Moles is still on international duty. I think he's with the Spanish under-19s. And then we've got Falami on his own up front. So we've got an actual international player. Um, Falami is going to be quite isolated. Again, I will consider putting one of these further forward, maybe. Could I play Hartigan in a more advanced role? I could try and play him as the Metzala. Well, that's not advanced as such, but we'll try it. And we'll see how we go. So, yeah, I'm going to try and play less instructions today. I think for players at this level, I think the less instructions, the better. Otherwise, you uh, you end up overcomplicating them. So, we'll try it. We'll see how we get on. I mean, I'm assuming that we're going to get smashed like 4 or 5 nil, But we'll see what happens. It's quite a decent front four. As front fours go, especially those three, Knockart, Gross and Lacardia. And we've got Purple just behind, so uh, this is going to be a tricky day. On earth is this, we have failed to score in our last seven games. We don't have to, what the, uh, what on earth is that? We owe Brighton after our, what happened in our last match, I'm assuming we lost like 17-0 or something. Okay, here we go then, we've had God knows how many defeats in a row now. Are we going to get a point at some point? This match highlights going very quickly, are we going to go 1-0 down already? I'm talking so much rubbish at the start of this game. Gross plays the ball in, and is that a penalty? It is. What an idiot. What an idiot. Why would you pull, pull somebody down like that? I don't know. 
stand. It's going to be Lucardia against O'Hara. And he nearly, if he dived a bit later, he would have saved it. And it's Lucardia's first goal of the season. What a surprise. And it comes against us. Oh, man. So let's have a look at this penalty again. So Lucardia steps up. And yeah, if if, if O'Hara had just sort of almost stayed where he was and dived a little bit, he might well have saved it. But, you know, penalties are a lottery, as we all know. So we're 1-0 down and that's another game lost. Could get worse here. Knock our back to Prabhu, shoots just wide. But, yeah, they're starting to pile on the pressure now. It's incessant highlights. Another corner for Brighton, this time it's Kallak to take it, and how did that not go in? Can we get a break going? No, we can't. Falami loses it. I'm amazed that stayed out, because that was, that was an awesome clearance. I thought Knockout had it, and then Lucardia literally like two or three yards out, but we managed to keep him at bay, which is awesome. Another set piece for Brighton, this time a free kick. Gross plays it to Knockout. Knockout plays it into Lucardia, just why they've had a lot of chances. But they haven't really taken them so far. We're still in this game. All it will take is just one chance for us. And it's all down to whether we take it or not. But yeah, Brighton have wasted quite a few opportunities. And I might be about to put the curse on that. Is here is Malumbi. Plays it out to Bong. Did that come off the referee? I don't know. Plays it into Skalak. Lacardia. Yep, yeah, I've cursed it. Yeah, good Lacardia again. And after a whole season without him actually scoring, he's now got two in two. Well, two in 30 minutes against us, which is a bit of a blow, but that's how it works. So he didn't hit the referee, went straight out to Gaitan Bong. Bong played it into Skalak, and we just don't get near him. Skalak plays it into Lacardia, has all the time in the world, slots it in. Oh my god, we got the ball in the half, and we've given it away. What on earth was that from, uh, was it Tandy? Knockout to play into Lucardia. And now here come the Brighton counter attack. Knockout over and wide. But we gave the ball away so carelessly in their half. I don't understand. Tandy just played a long, aimless ball. It didn't go to anyone. Just knock it short. Keep possession. Right, so we got to half time. 20 0 on the shot count. Which is incredible. But we've only um, we've only kept Brighton at two. So, I'll say show me something else in the second half. I might look into tweaking the tactics a little bit, depending on how we get on. But, yeah, we've been, we've been okay, but we haven't been stunning. In fact, we haven't been that good, but we just, Brighton have been wasteful. I, oh, man. King with a wasteful ball again. Is, is he trying to run that out for him? throwing he's got all the time in the world I'm gonna tell you and he's picked out a wonderful ball to Lacardia and Lacardia is surely gonna score saved by O'Hara but that was we need to close down a lot better that was a wonderful ball for Matteo I have to say but shocking the, the sheer lack of closing down from our team that's probably because I haven't got it on the team instructions Scallop plays the ball in it's away by Tandy yeah, of course I haven't got closing down on much more. That's probably why. I tell you, I really, really need to sneeze. And something's happened here. Is Amiobi going to get sent off? I really do need to sneeze. It's a red card for Amiobi. What an idiot. Why would you do that? Okay. Um, I don't even know what to do. I might even go central. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Griffiths on for King because he's had an awful game. And then I'm going to play as a three in the middle. And we'll see how, see how we get on. Deep line playmaker. All of a sudden, one of my teeth have become really sensitive. That's really painful. Alright, ten minutes to go. I feel like I should do something substitution-wise. Because I don't really know. Unless I put a car on for Hartigan and then I might put him behind and have like a, a diamond 441 thing going on. I feel like I should do something but I don't know what it is so I'm just going to do something. Anthony Hartigan has had a great game. 
we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna see what happens because I obviously I haven't got anything on the bench that can change the game. But all I can do is change the system up and just see how it works. So I, I don't really know. Another highlight for Brighton. They haven't actually scored in the second half. I'm about to put the curse on that now. I nearly did. It's gross. Shoots just wide. But we've kept a clean sheet in the second half. Unless Brighton score now. Which would be amazing. Clear it. Griffiths gets the ball clear. I mean if we'd done that all game. We could have got a point. But it's full time. And we've lost 2-0. Which is fairly respectable actually. One of those was a penalty. So in open play. We only lost 1-0. So I might be calm. Despite the result, I'm pleased with the performance. Okay, so Amiobi's obviously been given a one-match ban for his sending off. So was it a second yellow card or was it a... I thought it was a three-match ban. I thought he got a straight red card. I'm just going to warn him because that's what I always do. Issue a warning, confirm. Uh, I'm not going to appeal it because there's no point. What's, the, what, what's this? And Sporting Bournemouth. 1.2 million. Awesome stuff. Falami has played 18 matches without scoring, but that's just that's just part of the course that you play for Spalding. So, um, he, um, Amiobi's accepted his warning. That's fine. So, that's all good. I don't generally find them the first time. I always, what I do is if a player gets sent off for the first time under me, I, um, I give them a warning first time. And then if they do it again, I find them. And they're generally okay with that. Okay, so we have now lost 31 games out of 31. We sit rooted to the bottom of the table, but that was obvious anyway. And the relegation scraps have been pretty interesting. Southampton still in it, although a long way off. They've got Palace and Everton have got a game in hand on them. Palace two points behind Everton. Um, Huddersfield aren't exactly far off as well. Stoke, Newcastle still in the mix potentially as well. So that could be a pretty interesting relegation battle, but unfortunately for ourselves, we are nowhere near that. Right, I um, I plan to have two more episodes of this season, so I think what we'll do, we'll come back for the Manchester City game, and then next time we'll have the season finale, I might do it with the last game against Newcastle, I might do it with Watford and Newcastle, so there might be a double header on the last day, but the next day, and the next episode is going to be in Manchester City away, that might be pretty pointless, because we might it might end up being double figures, but... You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So uh, that's going to be everything for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Once again, I'm really sorry that I've been away for like a week. Episodes should be fairly regular from now on. But thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on it. If you enjoyed, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, comment below. Any thoughts or suggestions you may have, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. At the Milkers. In fact, if you want to check out all of my social medias, please do. As well as my other channels, the links to those will be in the description below. Thanks once again. I will see you next time. Bye for now.